Good morning guys and welcome back to a brand new video. I have you set up on my vanity in a spot that I normally don't have you set up and I have you sitting on a jewelry box and I keep trying to push you guys <laughs> further away because you're like inches away from my face but here we are. This is the view that we're going to do. So I've come to the bedroom and I figured we would get back to normal film some vlogs and I'm about to get ready and my skin is doing a little bit better. The side is healing. It's all scarred. And then this one spot is disgusting, but I'm doing my best not to pick at it. Yeah, I also made myself a green smoothie. I go through spurts of making these. I'll either make them over and over and over and over and then I'll stop making them. And starting yesterday, um, this is my second day of a green smoothie. Um, I'm in the mood for them again. So what's in here is just water, two ice cubes, a whole big chunk of handful of kale, half of a banana, which isn't the ripest, so it didn't sweeten it up that much. Um, what else did I put in there? Some chia seeds, some unsweetened coconut flakes. Oh, and my protein powder. And I'm only doing like half a scoop. Is that all I put in there, guys? I don't remember. Usually I add cinnamon. I kind of forgot to do that, but that's all right. Mm-hmm. It is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. You guys will be seeing this tomorrow. So I gave myself the task of filming and editing in the same day. So we're just going to hang out. I'm going to do my makeup with you guys, chat with you guys. And a couple days ago, Larry and I went to Lowe's, but we also stopped at Target and I did pick up a few fun goodies at Target. So I'll show you those today as well. And yesterday I meal prepped. Guys, I did a lot yesterday, didn't I? I wasn't in the mood to film. It would have been a great day to film though because I did a lot of like meal prepping stuff. I'm trying to like, I don't want to revisit it, but I'm trying to channel all my energy that might be negative or sad and I'm trying to like better my body and take care of my health and just kind of focus on things like that because I know mentally I'm sad. <laughs> so I'm trying to take care of myself mentally and physically. So we'll get into that too. So that's what I pretty much did all day yesterday. And I found it really, really, really therapeutic to cook and meal prep. All right. So I've washed, moisturized, done all that with my face. Um, what are we going to do today? Should we do like what I normally do on the daily? That's probably what you guys would like to see. All right. So first and foremost, we're going to go under the eyes. I think this shade is way too light for me. Vanilla light. Uh, that's fine. We'll deal with it. Um, by NARS. I had to switch, which a lot of you guys know. Oh, that's not that bad. I had to switch to a creamy consistency concealer. Um, the Bare Skin by Bare Minerals absolutely does not work for me. It breaks up under my skin and it just, it, it does not look good. So that was kind of unfortunate. Um, but the, the NARS Creamy, Radiant Creamy Concealer does wonders for my under eyes. Yeah, it's a little light, but that's not too bad. So I'd love to know, how are you guys doing? Be honest, if you feel like sharing, go ahead and share. My mock transfer got scheduled yesterday, so we should talk about that. So, and also there's some other updates from my doctor about me pushing the envelope on having like a laparoscopic or having being tested for endometriosis. And my doctor said that he doesn't, what did he say exactly? I should read it verbatim. And he said, there is no sonographic evidence of endometriosis or adenomyosis so far. I do not recommend diagnostic laparoscopy for now. We can always revisit this if something changes in the future. So he doesn't want to do any further testing. Um, and my mock embryo transfer is scheduled with my normal doctor, which is a good thing. And we'll see how it goes that day. I mean, I'm praying for the best. I'm so nervous. Like, I just can't even imagine a catheter going up there again. But here we are. But it's also exciting at the same time because I feel like we're getting closer again, even though the transfer isn't until late November. But I feel like we're making steps forward. So I'm going to share the date with you guys. I'm really nervous, but I'm excited about it too. I am going to try and film as much as I can that day. I'm also taking that NARS for the first time and putting it on these spots. Um, but anyways, I'm going to film that day and we'll see how the day goes. But my transfer is scheduled for October 7th, which is the day before my 30th birthday. So I'm hoping it goes well. When she told me yesterday, I was like, oh, that's like two weeks away. No, that's a week away. It doesn't even feel like my birthday's coming. It's it's all very strange. Also, I can't believe my 30th is coming up. Actually, I think that color matches my skin fairly well. 
That must be really fair. If I want more coverage, and this, you guys commented on a lot. Uh, when I was at Universal, I went full heavy makeup um, for me. <laughs> and you guys were like, your skin looks incredible. It was this. This powder is incredible. It's the Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. My shade is light beige. It's incredible. Like, it gives you flawless airbrushed. I kid you not. It's the best. But I'm not going to use it today just because... I don't want to add too much like that's all I'm going to do with my face. I'm just going to set it with a translucent setting powder and then we'll just go and add some color to our face. The setting powder that I like to use is the Laura Mercier. I got this at is it TJ Maxx. So I just take it everywhere that I put the concealer, especially under my eyes. I do put it up here a little bit. Helps with eyeshadow going on smoother and then we just kind of dab over those spots blush this one is great it gives you a really pretty pink flush this is um by the brand flower in sweet pea i picked it up at walmart several years ago maybe three years ago it still works wonders so we're gonna put this on i do like an upward kind of swirl and then i go over my nose like down here oh why is that looking so like look it looks like there's a huge chunk right there on the camera that's all right maybe there is yeah there is that's fine. We like blush. We're going to go in with a highlight. Cookie by Benefit. It's my favorite. You guys know I've been using it forever. I think I might try a new mascara. So we'll try that today. It's by the brand Ilia. Pinky Inner Corner. Makes all of the difference. Makes you look like a wide-eyed Bambi. So I'm going to brush them up with a spoolie. And then what I've really been liking lately, and I have no idea where my little brush went that's in here. So that's annoying, but is the Kaboom, no, Cabrow by Benefit in shade three. It's a cream gel brow color with brush. My with brush is MIA. So I've been using this and what I do is I dip it in and then I kind of trace under starting here and then just draw that line and then a line on top. So it kind of like draws that out for you. And then I just kind of lightly go through and fill it in a bit better so next that's what I do I go in with the brow setter so I'm gonna go in and just kind of like brush them upward like that is this my dry this is my this is not my new one mm -mm. where's my new one there's my new one this one's the one that's almost dead <laughs> we need the new one there we go now we're going in with some power what do we want to do next do we want to do a cute little eyeshadow no no I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills can't make decisions. All right, so the two colors that I'm gonna use, which are my favorite colors, are Love and then Wild Child. Pink does not go with this orange look at all, but such is life. Nothing precise, I am not precise. You guys probably already know this, but. And next I'm going in with that Wild Child, which I am really reaching in there for some. I'm gonna get the corners out. And I'm just gonna like tap that on my lid. So after I've done that, then the next thing I do is just kinda swirl around. See, I kind of go light on the skin and heavier on the eyes, but this is still kind of like light on the eyes in my opinion. I don't do like all the intense. I think I am going to run a little bit of that pink mauvey color under my lash line. Ugh. So although yesterday I did all my cooking, I'm going to show you guys what I did. Or I can just tell you guys what I did. So I did a whole sheet pan of vegetables. And that's just so that I don't reach for other things. If I have a whole container or tray of vegetables in my fridge, I can scoop out a tray of those. So I did green onions. No, no, I didn't. I did green peppers, red peppers. I forgot my freaking sprouts. And I love sprouts. I forgot those. I did broccoli. And I wanted red onion in there. Forgot the red onion. And then I did a tray of potatoes and then mushrooms also. And it was so good. So I have that to like spoon out and eat. And then I made some brown rice to go with it. Excuse me. I just had like a weird hiccup. Curling my lashes. I have this weird feeling that my mock embryo transfer is going to go flawless. And I also have this weird feeling that my real embryo transfer in November is going to be flawless. I just have this feeling that it's all going to go well. I don't know. Ilia. So, fullest volumizing mascara. So, we shall see. You guys know that this is my ride or die, my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It gives me nice, long, thick 
lashes and I've never found anything to beat it, even high end. So, ooh, okay, this wand looks promising. So let's see. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I'm impressed. Okay, I really like this mascara. Mm. You gotta be really careful though, it is messy, but if you get it on your skin and mess up like that, I have a secret, you let it dry. This isn't my secret, I didn't invent it. But you let it dry and then you take a Q-tip and swirl it around and it comes right off. Yeah, see that definitely um, transferred on my upper lids, but we'll wipe it off, it'll dry and then we'll go from there. Also, oh man, I wore this to Universal. Survived rain, pouring rain. And also I was wearing the L'Oreal Lash Paradise waterproof nothing dripped my face stayed in place my makeup didn't cake up so when i use that Too faced foundation plus this over top of all my makeup it stayed flawless all day this is crazy this i only use like well that was the first time i used it but i only really plan to use this on like fancy occasions i guess you could say like i don't need it on the daily see how that just came right off and that's done that's it that's all we're doing <laughs> welcome to the living room. I feel like we haven't had this background in a while. So I have my Target bags in front of me. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. I picked up these, which look huge, but I think it's because they're stretched out because of the little cardboard things they put inside of them to keep their shape. But these are liners. I just recently purchased Tom's, those slip-on shoes, because I had these white Nike pair and they gave me blisters on the back of my ankle. It was terrible. So I switched over to the Toms, which are really, really comfortable. Toms? Are they bobs? They're bobs. They're bobs. They're not, they're not Toms. They're bobs. <laughs> anyway, so I got these to go with them because they're black and I've been wearing white pair and gray pair and they stand out. So these will help with that. I picked up more of my Eos Mint. The Sweet Mint is my favorite. It's very cooling and I like it. And I also love the vanilla. These are my ride or die. <sighs> now, in the last week and a half, I switched my face wash and I've started using this, which is by CeraVe or CeraVe, and it's the Renewing SA Cleanser for Normal Skin. Gently cleanses and exfoliates while softening and smoothing the skin. It's non-comedogenic, non-drying, non-irritating with ceramides and salicylic acid. So all of this here, I'm very prone to like blackheads. That's what these are. I've heard salicylic acid is the best thing for that. And I had an old bottle of this and I started using it and I'm noticing a huge improvement in my skin already, but I use this morning and night and it's very gentle. So don't think like salicylic acid gonna rip your face apart. This is gentle, safe enough for everyday use. Of course, everybody's skin is different. So take that into consideration. But this along with my clindamycin gel that I apply topical that you have to have a prescription for this, great cleanser. Now for some fun candles. Now these are soy candles. So they're meant to be, I think they're supposed to be better. So I will show them to you guys. It's a soy wax blend. I love these designs. That one candle that I bought, Larry and I really loved it. They don't have it anymore. They do have that textured glass one that I showed you guys in a couple videos back. Where is that? I can show you guys that. Hold on. This one we still have. And this is in the scent, I don't know, cause it's not on here. Oh, brown sugar chestnut. This is super, super good. But I found the fall candles and I was very excited. That light is going on and off for some reason. So the first scent is spiced apple cider and it has these wood wicks. And guys, this is perfect. This is like cinnamon spiced, cidery a little bit of sweet not too it's just really really refreshing so if you can go to target and go sniffing i almost bought every single one of these that they had not of the scent but like all the scents they had like five or six of them by this who's this brand oh threshold really good love it and then the next one is gingerbread spice again with the little wood wicks i wonder if they'll crackle this one is a little bit softer, but very refreshing. I think these are like my new favorite candles over. We won't say that again. I'll see how they burn. Um, and then the next one is, oh, is my wick broken? No, it'll survive. It got smashed. The next one is pumpkin spice. 
Oh my gosh, so good. Ugh, delicious. So we need to light one of those today. I think I want to light the spiced apple cider. I think that's my favorite smell. Smell, scent. And then the other things I picked up, I'm gonna take you into the kitchen. Oh, I forgot my green juice. Did I drink it all? Where's my green juice? We need to find our green juice. Swamp water. Swamp water, Larry calls it, which is very appropriate. Hi, babe. Hi. We're back to vlogging. Back to it then. Found my swamp water. It was right where I was just filming. Thank you, Larry. We have rubber bands, so Larry's shooting them across the house. So this I had today, and I found it at Target. I was really excited about it. It's is it is it Tazo Tazo? How would you say that? Tazo. Tazo. Okay. It's the pumpkin spice chai tea. I love chai tea. Fall for black tea with classic chai and pumpkin pie spices. It's a caffeine level three out of five, and it was really good. I had it this morning. Delicious. I mean, it's not. It doesn't scream pumpkin spice to me like a pumpkin cream cold brew but it's also healthy it's just straight up black tea with spices so i really enjoyed it i think i might try to it's very difficult for me to do i think i might try to switch over to tea because i had a really bad day with coffee yesterday i seem to go in waves with that where it destroys my stomach and there's other symptoms and it's just not a good time which reminds me, I also got a new creamer for my coffee. Let me show you the creamer that I found that's brand new, that's really good, that I picked out. If you like chocolate chip cookies, you're gonna love this creamer. So I found it at Target. Wait, that's the nutritional. You don't wanna see that. Um, here is the new creamer and it's called Cookies and Cream, brand new, snowflakes. It's happening, like the season is here and I'm very excited about it. That was another thing somebody had said to me about the embryo transfer being in late November is it's like when I'm the happiest, which is so sweet because you guys know me so well. So yeah, like that is my happy season. I found this marinara sauce and I was trying to find one with really low sugar. I know the sugar is added to cut down the acidity. I totally get that. So, but what I'm trying to do is find one that has the lowest amount of sugar. And I found this brand, Rayos, I believe. Um, it was a little bit more on the pricey side out of all the sauces, but it looks really, really good. So I'm gonna give this a try. Did it focus on her? Is it focusing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so cute, Lexi. That's probably the closest close-up you guys have ever seen of her. And this camera did a wonderful job at focusing. I have a confession to make. As you guys know, I tried to go dairy-free. I did it for five days. And then this happened. So, guys, I understand the importance. Love cheese. So, it happened. We also got a few packs of these, which are the Reese's. I'm going back to saying Reese's. I know you guys say Reese's, but I like Reese's. <laughs> That's how I've always said it. Maybe it's an Ohio thing. Maybe it's a Mindy thing. But I have decided I'm going back to saying the way that I love saying it, which is Reese's. You're a rebel. <laughs> I'm a rebel. You guys have been asking me in the vlogs, how do you like your vacuum, the cordless vacuum that we bought? We love it. It's amazing. It's super lightweight. Um, the cord isn't in the way. It does a great job. We actually swept the hole and I with it. I went out there with a broom and then Larry was like, do you want to just try that? That blue jay is sassy. Do you want to just do the thing? And I'm like, well, I'll sweep up the piles and you follow me. And then he got ahead of me, obviously, because it's a vacuum. And it sweeps everything right up. It's great. The carpet, everything. It's 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 fabulous. We love it. And the Bissell spot remover. Oh, yeah. We did the seats and somebody had a little accident in the car with some coffee. Oh, my God. It was disgusting. That was from freaking Thanksgiving of last year. And we didn't clean it up. And Larry went to go clean it with our spot pet cleaner that we got at Target. He said it was moldy in there. And I'm like, that is freaking disgusting. It grossed me out. But yeah, in the seat crack where you couldn't see, it got kind of gray, fuzzy, spotty. Mm. We're going to go edit because <laughs> I have to get this up for you guys to see tomorrow. And I'm just really behind. So it was almost one of those times where I was like, all right, we're not going to have any videos for the week. And I'm like... Gotta have videos. Come on, Mindy, pull it together. Pull it together. You, you can do it. You are me. <laughs> yeah, Larry. Oh, this is great. 
Do you see this, guys? It eases tension and promotes relaxation, which I clearly need because, you know, and it's that time of the month now. I told you guys the start of the period, it's awful, but it's okay because it's, it's the next step in the right direction. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm losing myself. I'm losing all sense of control. Ugh. I don't know. Do I really need to be nice and relaxed while I'm editing though? I need to be, I need the energy. I have energy. I feel it in my chest. I, I don't need any more. What am I saying? I do need relaxation. You want to talk to them about your pet cleaner? Hold on. Let me set this down because I can't hold it. And then you can tell them. Okay. So I got this at Target while she was looking at the coffee creamer. <laughs> That's not true. I don't think she bought a coffee creamer there. We got that at the grocery store. I didn't know this. We have the, the small portable unit, and then they have the upright carpet cleaner. And you got to watch because they have things formulated for portable and for the uprights. So, but I don't understand because our portable came with a pet stain remover that was formulated for the uprights, but it came with the portable. I don't know if it, it really matters, but it must because they put it on the, the label. So if you're new to this like we are, watch and see which one you're getting. Because they have different blends or something. I don't know what it is. But this is what I got. Don't put this in your coffee. That would not taste good. No. So yesterday, Larry and I were talking about like getting away. Now you guys know that we're going up to Ohio soon for my best friend Hillary's wedding. And, but we're going to be super busy. So three of those days are all booked for the wedding. And then Larry and I, I think we'll have one day while we're there that will just be Larry and I. We'll be very busy, but I'm very thankful. We're so excited to see all of our friends. But I feel like Larry and I could really use like a getaway, like just get away. You know, just the two of us. No phones, no cameras, no nothing. Like just escape. So... <laughs> I was looking at trips all over the place. We were looking at going out to Colorado again because I really, really enjoyed Estes. I think the scenery in Colorado is stunning and breathtaking. I love the mountains and the snow and the wildlife. It's just beautiful. So we were looking at that. And then randomly, I start looking at Honolulu, Hawaii. It's just a trip that I've always dreamed to do. So I almost booked us a seven day trip to Honolulu, Hawaii in January. And I'm like, should I be doing this? All these what ifs and I'm like, I shouldn't, <laughs> I just, I need to wait and calm down. And Larry's like, let's, let's, let's wait. He's like, I think we should do something that's a little bit more local. Maybe something that's a little bit more just, you know, a two hour flight. And I'm like, okay, you're right. <laughs> so I almost booked a freaking trip to Honolulu, Hawaii for January. This sounds great and maybe it would have been a great idea and I, we can still do it, but I backed out, we didn't do it. So yeah, most excited for that mock transfer next week. That's already next week, that's crazy. Like a week from today as this video goes up. <laughs> I hope it goes well, cause that's the day before my 30th and I don't wanna be sad, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways guys, I am gonna end this video here. Um, there's a lot in this video, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed getting back to like a normal vlog and hanging out. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye! Bye.